I can all be your captain for this afternoon cruise. How's everybody doing back there today? Hi. Okay, this time it's really sound impressive to the people as we're leaving, okay? So when I say, how's everybody doing this afternoon, I want everyone to shout, fine, Captain Mike, real loud, okay? How's everybody doing this afternoon? Fine, Captain Mike. Thank you, yes. Where's everybody from by any chance? Florida. Florida. Florida, huh? Oh, do you have anyone from Ohio or Pennsylvania? Michigan. Yeah. Do you have anyone from Columbus, Ohio? That's my hometown. Do we have anyone from West Virginia or Kentucky? Indiana. How about Wyoming? No one from Wyoming? Well, we only got about 40 more states to go. Is, that, is everyone ready for a fun, exciting cruise? I'm sorry, but you picked the wrong, bo wrong boat. <laughs> uh, this is the old Frontier Ohio back right after the Revolutionary War. Now look, those three wants to invite a guy home to dinner. And he's shaking his head yes, that he wants to go, but I don't think he realizes he's going to be the main chorus. I like my jokes. Please feel free to boo them or cheer them or anything, but the louder you are, the more fun we have. Look up to him. He's just giving them the fair facts of life. I bet you're all wondering how I knew that was his father. Well, I'll tell you, I recognize his Paul. Oh. Are these jokes unbearable? Yeah. I guess we just have to grin and bear it. Look, off to the right, Charlie the Cougar. Now, there used to be a lot of these big cats back in this park. Thanks so many. The Indians named the Great Lake after him. Does anyone know what Great Lake that was? Lake Erie, because the Indians have met big cat. Look off to your right, send this motion picture. Root. <laughs> now, quickly, everybody, look to your left. Now to your right. Now to your left. Back to your right. Wow, isn't this fun? Oh, we're really having a great time today on the Western Cruise. Oh, well. Oh, I bet that they had to work hard for whatever they wanted. In fact, they talked to each other and make things on the stall stand like this. Now, this is hard work. In fact, these men here have been working so hard. Let's try that again. These three men have been working so hard. How hard? They've been working so hard, they've been cutting that same board for eight years. Oh. And they're only halfway through it. I guess they just can't cut it. Oh. I guess they're bored with their work. Oh. I guess these jokes are going against your grain, huh? Oh. Look over here. A bucket of beaver started this damn this morning. Only needs one more tree to go. Let's watch it fall. Woo! Let's hear it for the tree. On the count of three, I want to hear a big aww. One, two, three. Aww. Those are two dear friends of mine. Aww. Looks like your mother and daughter. I think your mother is talking to her daughter. Daughter just asked your mother for an allowance. She just asked for some more dough. And more bucks. Looks like up to the right here, a couple of bear, or three bear went hunting and got themselves a couple of men. I'd say those men are up a tree. And I don't let them. And ladies don't look now, but they have a bear behind. Uh, well, what do you know? Look who's standing here on the corner. What a pleasant surprise. Spot. Does anyone know why we call him Spot? No. He's been standing in the same spot for the last eight years and hasn't moved. Okay, who wants to hear a joke? Yeah. <laughs> okay, joke time. <laughs> what did I call a line of rabbits? Hopping in reverse. A receding hairline. Uh, up ahead, we have a French fort. And let me tell you, we haven't been getting along with them too good lately because they've been mad at us because we haven't been paying our river road taxes. And can you blame us for not wanting to pay taxes? I mean, if you want to pay taxes for this thing, we don't. So we sent the bill to clean up earlier to talk to him. We haven't heard from her since. But hopefully, before too long, she has a good day. That's a problem. Uh oh. The French have been just coming by on us. Everybody hang on low. Oh, no. I can't understand this. This has never happened before. <laughs> Keep down low. I'm serious. This wasn't supposed to happen on the ride. Oh, no. We go down. It's Captain and Children first. Captain and Children. What do you think they call me? The chicken of the sea. Oh, no. We got more Indians up to the left. Oh, they sunk the Delta Queen. Oh, I can't believe this. Keep down low. Husbands, grab your wife. Girlfriends, grab your boyfriends. And any good-looking girls, come up and grab the captain. <laughs> Oh no, we got more Indians over the right. Keep down low. Oh. Wait, wait a second. Oh. We're not a problem anymore. We don't 
don't have to worry about those Indians. I recognize them. They're from Cleveland. Oh. Everybody knows that Cleveland Indians can't hit a thing. Yeah. On the count of three, everyone go, boo. One, two, three. Boo. Oh. Oh, back then they had not too many big towns, but they did have one big town. I know I'm sure you all read about it in your history books. I know in fourth grade I read about it. How many people heard of Gold Town, Ohio? No one's heard of Gold Town, Ohio? Population three. Now these three men headed westward in search of gold. But I don't think they went further enough west because all the gold's in California. And they wound up in Ohio. All they have here is fool's gold. That man down in the red shirt, Wino Willie, he has a jug in his hand. Does anyone know what he's keeping his jug? Does someone say Moonshine? No, that's false. He keeps the Kool-Aid in his jug. You know how I know that? Because it's illegal for minors to drink in Ohio. Look, up ahead, the uh, Hawaiian Dot Indian Campus. Uh-oh. I only see one Indian brave, not two, but one. That means one of two things. Either they're out on the warpath, they're out there all inside their teepees making teepee dinners. Oh. Well, we talked to Trapper Dan up here on the right. He lives across from the Indians, and he usually knows what the Indians are up to. So, Trapper, if you wouldn't mind telling me what are the Indians are, it's safe to go on ahead. Let's listen. Now, look at that Indian score to the left. He's been watching that same shirt there for five years. Must be bad case to ring around the collar. Well, should we turn back and go forward? If we turn back, we've got to listen to the same jokes over again. They could be hiding behind trees to your right, behind bushes, or even behind two big gray rocks to your left, such as those over there. Uh-oh, that's not pretty mean. Oh, there's a coyote coming down the radio now. It's an old Indian saying, whenever a coyote comes down the river's edge to drink water, it means one thing and one thing only. That is thirsty. <laughs> Uh-huh. Up around the bend here's a McGillicuddy. Now they're real friendly folk. We've been, we've talked to them for quite some time and lots of times on a riverboat cruise. We stopped by and talked to them. Oh no. You can never believe what happened to the McGillicuddy. This is terrible. Horrifying. They've been demolished. Wiped out. Let's hear it for the McGillicuddy's. <laughs> we better go up and warn Snakeskin Sam. Hold on because he is being an old Indian scout. And then Indian surely won't like him. Yeah, they've just been waiting for an excuse to get him, but oh no, it looks like we're getting there too late, we're right in the middle, the Indians are giving him a house warning party, keep down low, we got Indians off your right too, duck, duck down, I'm staying down low, I'm no fool, I'm not as dumb as I look, oh, that is fine, keep down low, I'm serious, oh, did anybody get hit by any of those wood bullets, if so, I'll have to give you a, a wood bandage, so it wouldn't hurt. But then it probably wouldn't stick. And you probably wouldn't care. Oh, look up in the distance. Four stand up keys. We can all breathe easy. Wipe the sweat off your forehead. And right here, just in time for flag raising, which means we're here safely back to Cedar Point. Up ahead in the distance, I see the space viral that corkscrew and the front airlift, which means in a couple minutes we will be docking. At this time, I ask that you please remain seated because there will be a couple small bumps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, and I'll try and make up some answer for you. <laughs>